But first, an NBC Charlotte Defender exclusive. Take a look at this video. It shows the security risk under the streets of Charlotte, one that could still be accessed by people who want to cause catastrophic damage. The vulnerability of what's lurking under our city streets is something we first exposed in 2012, before the Democratic National Convention. Now, as the city prepares for the 2020 RNC, the Defenders took our cameras back underground, where the same network of tunnels and pipes under some of Uptown's most popular buildings still pose a threat. Seven years after city leaders first raised concerns. So why hasn't it been fixed? The Defenders' Nathan Morbido is live at 6 with what he's uncovered. Nathan? Guys, the tunnels run near some of Charlotte's most visited landmarks, including pretty much right beneath my feet. Across the street from the Spectrum Center, where in just a couple weeks, thousands will be here for the NBA All-Star Game. Below Charlotte's noisy streets, there's a quiet underground, complete with a massive network of tunnels, arteries that extend through the heart of the Queen City and run near and underneath some of Charlotte's hottest spots. They're meant to prevent flooding by funneling rainwater, but someone with bad intentions could use them to create another kind of disaster. And all you need to access them are rain boots, a flashlight, and a little know-how. When you look at it from uh, explosives, improvised explosive devices being detonated underneath the city could be catastrophic. Those words from former FBI Assistant Director Chris Wecker. Well, it's surprising it hasn't been completely secured. It's a known vulnerability. Yet here we are. Photojournalist Ken Shermer right there and myself have spent the last 15 minutes or so exploring this tunnel, walking with an earshot of one of Charlotte's busiest highways. If you listen closely, you can hear 277 above our heads. The city has a series of outlets that intentionally allow water to exit and unintentionally let people enter, including this one near a city park, which the city's publicly available map shows leads near the convention center and NASCAR Hall of Fame. How about that? You're going to die? And we're not the only ones who know about it, evident by all the graffiti sprayed up and down the tunnel. That's crazy. There's also this one, which according to the city's stormwater maps, travels right in front of the Spectrum Center. Unbelievable. That's how city leaders responded to NBC Charlotte's original report in 2012. I don't imagine that come September you'll still have that same free access. At the time, the city promised safety measures would be completed at the right time and right locations. We've only found one addition that could stop someone, and it's so faint we didn't even notice it when we first walked in. Okay, so I just saw this. A faded no trespassing sign. You can barely see it, but another faded no trespassing sign. Those signs are posted at other entry points too. It says hazardous confined space. I think we've been lulled into a sense of complacency since 9-11. Swecker says a sign isn't going to stop someone who wants to hurt others. I'm confident before the RNC it'll be taken care of. It won't be a vulnerability for the RNC. I, I think the point being it's a vulnerability sort of on an ongoing basis. Hey, this looks like a major security gap we're talking about here. Why isn't the city addressing it? Well, we don't know if the city's added cameras. We don't know if the city's added sensors because the city won't say. A spokesperson said because safety is Charlotte's top priority, security details are kept confidential. By the way, safety is the same reason we've decided not to release links to the maps of the tunnels we found. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Very interesting, Nate. Thank you.